Welcome to the second installment of the YGAN series. In this video, we discuss why GAN makes a great solution for multiple applications used in industrial drones. In this video, we will first review the power requirements for industrial drones. Then we'll explain the value that eGAN devices offer for this application. Next, we'll review EPC's product portfolio for drones. And finally, we will review the specific power solutions for three different drone application blocks, the motor drives, the DC to DC power supply, and the LIDAR or time of flight system. First, why GAN for industrial drones? EGAN technology enables smaller and lighter drones that fly farther and see better. The drone market is not all addressable with GAN yet. Initially, EGAN devices are the best solution for the high-end portion, the industrial drones that you see in this picture, drones that need to lift some weight like cameras or emergency medical supplies and have the autonomy to fly long distances. Low-cost consumer drones on, are not yet a target for GAN. EGAN devices address multiple applications within every drone. First, the LIDAR, or time of flight sensors that act as the eyes of the drone. EGAN devices are the leading technology for time of flight and LIDAR. Second, the DC to DC power supply that converts from battery voltage to the typical 12 volts used as input for other blocks. Industrial drones use a series of 12 volt battery packs, generally four, resulting in a typical input voltage of 48 volts for industrial drones. The DC to DC converter is typically a buck regulator, and often it needs to be bidirectional to recharge the batteries. Finally, the motor drive. In a drone application, each arm of the drone has a motor, and the motor drives need to be very small to be integrated within the motor in the arm. Industrial drones have, on average, six motors per drone. In comparison to silicon MOSFETs, EGAN transistors improve the key figure of merit, area times on resistance, by five times at 100 volts. That improvement results in smaller size and lower cost or lower RDS on in the same size. Additionally, the figure of merit RDS on times QG or gate charge is also five times better than silicon, resulting in lower losses. Finally, Zero reverse recovery and less switching losses allow an increase in frequency for higher power density. Even though our devices are very small, thermal is not a concern due to the excellent thermal properties of our EGAN die. On the left, you can see the thermal resistance to PC board that is similar to silicon MOSFETs. However, on the right-hand side, we're comparing thermal resistance to case against the absolute best thermal package available for MOSFETs, the direct FET. The EGAN devices are six times better than the best-in-class direct FETs because EGAN devices can dissipate heat through the PC board, through their top, and through the lateral sides of the device. Another important feature is the unprecedented robustness of EGAN devices. With a test-to-fail approach to reliability testing, EPC tests devices well beyond JEDEC to improve robustness generation after generation. The test-to-fail report, Phase 11, is available on the EPC website. This report details how EGAN devices show superior short circuit and thermal stress robustness. EPC's commitment on reliability shows up in the reliability results with 123 billion device hours in the field since January 1st, 2017, and only three device failures. Now let's look at the specific portfolio for drones. All the applications we mentioned required a 48 volt input power, and this requires 100 volt devices. This voltage range is the sweet spot for GAN technology. In all topologies with 48 volt input, the highest efficiency comes with using eGAN devices. 
Here you see a full range of 100 volt EGAN FETs from EPC with RDS on ranging from 20 milliohms to 2.5 milliohms. Gate charge is very small from 1.7 nanocoulombs to 11.8 nanocoulombs. QGD is also very small for very low switching losses and QRR is zero. The device area is ultra small from one millimeter squared up to seven millimeters squared. The BGA devices, except for the EPC 2051, can all nest so that the same layout can accommodate different FETs to allow easy and flexible upgrades for efficiency or load current changes. If we compare the performance of EGAN FETs versus the benchmark silicon MOSFET, the RDS on of the GAN device is 22% smaller, QGD is 84% smaller, QG 60% smaller, and QRR is zero. Additionally, the EGAN FET is one third of the device size. Please note that the EPC FET is rated 100 volts and we compared it with an 80 volt silicon FET. Overall, EGAN devices offer five times the power density. Since GAN is a lateral device, it's very easy to integrate solutions beyond discrete devices. Here's a new addition to our family, a fully integrated power stage in a super small size. The E power stage, digital in and power out family simplifies design and will further reduce size. The device is very small, only 10 square millimeters and integrates drivers, level shifter, half bridge FETs and bootstrap. The maximum input voltage is 80 volts and the maximum current at 100 kilohertz is 15 amperes. This level of integration improves efficiency. Here you can see the efficiency improvement between integrated GAN power stage and a discrete solution with one driver and two EGAN FETs at one megahertz and at 2.5 megahertz. The green curve is the integrated solution, and the blue is the discrete solution. For 48 volts to 12 volts at 1 megahertz, the integrated solution delivers greater than 96% peak efficiency and up to 2% efficiency improvement at 12.5 amperes. The improvement can be explained by three factors. Matching of drivers with FETs, no parasitics like ground loop, common source, and gate drive inductances, and thermal balancing of the two FETs. The improvement is even bigger at 2.5 megahertz where an integrated solution can deliver at least three extra amperes versus the discrete solution. At high switching frequency, EGAN topology with ultra low switching losses widely outperforms silicon MOSFETs, generally limited to no more than 91% efficiency at one megahertz for this 48 volt to 12 volt buck example. Now let's look at the three application areas within drones for EGAN FETs and integrated circuits. First is the motor drive. There are many benefits to using EGAN devices in brushless DC motors. Light weight is very important for drones. They need to fly and they feature on average six motors per drone. Additionally, the motor drive needs to be small enough to be integrated within the motor. Using EGAN devices enables smaller and lighter motors with lower switching losses. Zero QRR reduces EMI. Because there's no package inductance, you get very clean waveform, which gives the ability to use full sine wave filters at the output of the BLDC drives. EGAN devices allow designs to reach higher frequencies in the 100 kilohertz plus range. What that enables is ultra low inductance motor operation, higher position accuracy, lower current ripple and lower torque ripple and lower audible noise. Here we're showing a reference design for a three phase motor drive. This is the EPC 9146 and the application note detailing this design can be found on the EPC website. The design is a 400 watt three-phase motor drive with a 15 amp peak 
per phase. The efficiency is 98.5% at 100 kilohertz PWM frequency. The next application in drones are DC to DC power supplies. For 48 volt DC to DC conversion, the fact that EGAN 100 volt FETs have the best figure of merit for hard switching applications results in higher power density and efficiency versus silicon MOSFETs. The DC to DC converter is smaller and lighter, half the solution size and weight to deliver the same amount of power versus silicon MOSFETs. This is due to the five times smaller RDS on form factor and better figure merit at 100 volts. The lower switching losses of EGAN devices enable higher frequency to further reduce size. And finally, EGAN devices allow higher battery efficiency that results in longer battery life and autonomy. The DC to DC conversion in industrial drones generally operates from 48 volts, that is four 12 volt battery packs in series. V out is generally 12 volts. Size is very critical and generally limited to less than 1000 square millimeters. Bidirectional buck boost designs are often required to recharge the battery for more autonomy. A reference design for a bidirectional 48 volt to 12 volt 300 watt converter is available. The part number is EPC9143 and the application is available on the EPC website. The design delivers 25 amperes and 300 watts power with 96% efficiency. This represents a 33% higher efficiency compared to silicon solution. The design features an enhanced microcontroller that will enable users to configure the design for a 300 watt buck or modify for a 300 watt boost or a bidirectional buck boost. The default setting is a 300 watt buck to 12 volt regulated output. However, V out could be set from 5 volts to 20 volts and V in could vary from 7.5 volts to 64 volts. The switching frequency is 500 kilohertz that allows 300 watts in a very small 1 16th brick format, which is just 33 by 23 millimeters squared. This results in a power density greater than 610 watts per cubic inch. The design is scalable and more phases can be added for higher power. The last application for EGAN technology in drones is machine vision. LiDAR and time of flight, or TOF, give vision to drones. EGAN devices are leading this application and support LiDAR for navigation and time of flight for collision avoidance. With EGAN devices, drones can see farther, faster, and better. EGAN devices have benefits for both long-range and short-range solutions. Long-range LiDAR is used for navigation and can see targets up to hundreds of meters away. These systems require very short pulses in the nanosecond range with very high peak currents, up to hundreds of amperes. This allows very long and very wide range and very high resolution. Finally, size is very small. EGAN devices enable LiDAR to have shorter pulses because the rise time and the fall time is almost 100 times smaller than silicon MOSFETs. Additionally, tiny EGAN FETs deliver very high pulsed current. This makes EGAN FETs the LiDAR solution as proven by their dominance in LiDAR applications at all the major players. Time of flight or TOF cameras or short range LiDAR need to be very small and tiny TOF modules have excellent range and accuracy. Pulse currents are smaller than long range LiDAR, typically less than 10 amperes, but the pulse frequency needs to be very high, tens or even hundreds of megahertz to guarantee high resolution at short distances. EGAN devices are very small and monolithic integration can further reduce size, increase frequency, and reduce cost. 
EPC offers dedicated evaluation boards and devices for long-range and short-range LiDAR systems. There is also a LiDAR landing page on the EPC website that contains many design resources. The EPC team has industry-leading expertise in supporting the LiDAR market. To get a quick evaluation, EPC offers the EPC 9126 demo board for long-range LiDAR and the EPC 9144 demo board for short-range LiDAR. This slide also shows a selection of the most popular devices currently used in high-volume LiDAR applications. In summary, EPC devices enable smaller and lighter drones. The motor drives are smaller, lighter, and more accurate. The power supplies are smaller and more efficient for longer battery life, and the LiDAR systems see farther, faster, and better. Given the same RDS on, EPC's eGAN devices are smaller, have lower switching losses, and have no reverse recovery. Also, eGAN technology enables LiDAR solutions that have been shipping in volumes to this application for several years, including custom integrated solutions. Lastly, the ePower stage, digital in and power out family, simplifies design and further reduces size for all these 48 volt applications. For more detailed information about eGAN, FETs, and ICs, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How To GAN series. And for more information on eGAN, FETs, and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.